overall, at a country, province, region, or city level, it grows output, it creates new employment opportunities, it drives economic growth, uh, which ties in with West Coast mandate, and which is why we do what we do, is driving economic growth and creating job opportunities. And when economies grow, people have jobs, they've got higher income, we can invest in healthcare, uh, public services, education, safety, and ultimately improving the living standards for all. So I believe that is why West Grown and why we do what we do. But then in addition, on a company level, ultimately new markets uh, means a larger customer base for exporters, uh, which allows the business to increase production, increase sales, build those profit margins. It also reduces risk uh, as the business is less reliant on its home market only should something happen in the domestic market. And we also find that businesses expand their current product as well as or, or their service offering based on needs from the international consumer, which might be different to the needs of your local consumer. And in general, we see businesses that have international exposure and also, also competing in international markets for that global customer. They tend to be a little bit more innovative. They learn to leverage new technologies. They tend to benchmark themselves against international best practice, uh, which ultimately results in the business being stronger, more sustainable, and more resilient. But my colleague, Karen Bosman, provided uh, quite a bit of detail on the benefits of exports um, in the harnessing the benefits of foreign direct investment, export, and tourism episode. So I'll uh, defer to that session for a little bit more in-depth detail.